My name is uh, Avi Priel, and I'm working in the pharmacy school at the Hebrew University. And um, my research topic is uh, pain, mainly focusing on molecular and uh, different proteins in the pain pathway, and trying to understand how pain is evolved. Alex? Hi, my name is Alex Binstock, and I'm working in the medical school in Hebrew University and the, the Center of Brain Research. And uh, my main topic is pain physiology. We're trying to understand how changes the molecular, cellular, or whole circuit level uh, leads to uh, development of a uh, chronic or any, any kind of abnormal pain. We're also trying to develop uh, approaches for pain selective uh, anesthesia, blocking pain without a uh, side effects. So um, in this project, uh, we joined force together in trying to, to understand how uh, medical cannabis reduce pain. So as probably is a, a common knowledge already, medical common, cannabis is mainly used for treating pain. Uh, and in the setting of cancer pain, this is a, a extremely important because a cancer patient, uh, at least in Israel, uh, use a lot of medical cannabis. Uh, and this is the way we think at least to, to take down a little bit the burden of uh, opioid and, uh, and to decrease the use uh, of opioid. So what we did is try to figure out how cannabis uh, uh, changed the pain pathway in a way that result in the end in uh, analgesics. And most of the uh, patients that use medical cannabis report that uh, there is dramatic decrease in the pain sensation. And we try to understand uh, how it happened. And we had uh, some very exciting uh, findings leading to this grant. And uh, uh, Alex will continue from there. Yeah, just, just, just to say that despite the pretty wide use of, of can, uh, cannabinoids against pain, the, the mechanism of its effect on pain is not clear. In actually, it, it prevents the more wide or more smart use of, of, of cannabinoids against pain, primarily against the cancer pain. So as uh, Ivy mentioned, uh, we have pretty amazing results showing that, that uh, pretty surprisingly, uh, cannabinoids actually intervene directly in the pain pathway, it blocks the activity of peripheral neurons that innervates uh, tissues. And by deep understanding of, of, of its mechanism, we are planning in, in, in this uh, ICRF funded grant to really dissect the mechanism of its action and, and hopefully improve its effect on, uh, on cancer pain. Just to mention that, that, that we show that, that the, the molecules that are affected by, by cannabinoids are a, a what we call sodium channels that, that are responsible for the activity of these units. It has been shown that the changes in activity of these uh, proteins of these molecules is directly involved in cancer pain and moreover in chemo chemotherapy induced pain, which is not the lesser problem with cancer pain itself. And by targeting this molecule, we may be able to both block cancer pain and possibly prevent or alleviate pain as a result of, of a treatment by anti-cancer drug. And just to mention that, that, that uh, uh, this uh, grant, ICRF uh, grant, gave us a real opportunity to collaborate and work together on this very exciting project. Ali? So it's important to mention that, unfortunately, replacing opioids, uh, which is will be much benefits if, if we look on the problems that the opioid crisis evokes, uh, uh, will, not, will, not, will not be achieved uh, even in, in this study or other studies because opioids will still remain uh, uh, the main uh, uh, painkillers in, in acute situation like car accident uh, uh, and so on. And uh, of course, operating rooms. Uh, however, we think that we can reduce the use of opioids uh, uh, if we reach the goals of this grant 
uh, we will be able to reduce uh, uh, the use of opioids for chronic pain uh, and cancer pain, which cancer pain is almost by definition chronic pain. And, and we will be able to reduce the, the burden uh, of the opioids uh, uh, by uh, the alternative uh, way, which is uh, the compounds found in the medical cannabis, uh, which have much lesser adverse effect, although they are not perfect. We, we won't find uh, a perfect analgesic, but they have much lesser uh, um, side effect than uh, opioids. Uh, and finally, uh, we both want uh, to thank the ISR ICRF for the funding of this project. It's not easy to find funding, uh, uh, scientific funding, and the ICRF really help us in that uh, uh, venue. Uh, I think this uh, uh, pathway or, or, or our grant uh, um, will benefit a lot from, from the ICRF. And we hope that we will be uh, give some uh, in the end, or, or our main goal is to give some relief for uh, cancer pain, and the ICRF is instrumental uh, in, in that uh, pathway. Alex? Yeah, just again, I want to thank ICRF for this opportunity. It's a great pleasure to work together. We complement each other. We have different uh, specialities, and this grant, by bringing us together, lead us to, to really to create multi, a multidisciplinary study that can tackle this very complicated problem of cancer pain, and hopefully we'll have millions of patients suffering, suffering from pain. And again, thank you, ICRF. We hope we'll have a, a great results at the end. Thank you.